Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So let's see what messages comes through. So I pulled up the charms. Let's see what messages comes in today. This Divine Masculine, they, um, they are hiding something from this karmic person and they don't want the karmic person to know about the truth about you and you too. So there's something that this Masculine has been hiding from this karmic for a long time and it has to do with their feelings, their emotions, their love for Divine Feminine. The truth is that this masculine may have, so whoever this resonates for, masculine may have been reaching out to Divine Feminine recently. So if you are somebody who has been recently talking to Divine Masculine, they and they are in a relationship with this karmic person, this is some of the things that is going on at their, at their, um, at their place or wherever they're living at. So these two may be living together. Uh, I do see a household or something like that um or this karmic person could always be visiting divine masculine their house so what i see here is that there's a lot of emotions uh somebody's always crying uh is coming across as this karmic person's crying uh the situation between them always bitter there's some argument disagreement this karmic person's always uh doubting blaming uh they don't trust divine masculine at all they're always um, asking if Divine Masculine is cheating. Are you cheating on me? Are you cheating on me? That kind of thing. Uh, tell me the truth. Uh, so even if Divine Masculine is not, for example, if you two are just talking, I I feel in this reading it's in this, it's like an innocent thing. Like it's just coming across as just two people talking. But this karmic person is taking it way out of proportion. It's like it's not what it is like this person is um basing basically they are uh telling divine masculine that you're doing this you're doing that they're putting a lot of blame on divine masculine uh there's they are um initiating some sort of argument or disagreement between the two divine masculine prefers not to talk to the karmic person especially about divine feminine they don't want to talk about you to this karmic person because they know this karmic person will get really upset divine masculine i see here that they they feel like whatever decision that they're making right now is the right thing for them to do they're keep trying to keep distant from the karmic person especially if they're living under the same roof um I see that a lot of changes are happening in these two uh, relationships, especially when Divine Masculine started talking to Divine Feminine again. Divine Feminine, um, if this resonates with you, uh, I see here that Masculine is just giving little hints to Divine Feminine about their feelings, but they're not coming really open with what they feel for you. They have a lot of love for you. They really care for you. They want to be with you. But at this time, they feel kind of stuck in this situation. They don't know what to do. They're not really thinking about separation from this karmic person yet. I don't see that in this reading. I see it more of like, how do I deal with this karmic person and the situation? But the thought of separation is not coming to mind yet, especially if you two have started talking to each other. So they see it as like, I'm still in a relationship with this karmic person, but there's no harm in me talking with Divine Feminine. We're just having normal conversation they don't see it as like anything wrong but deep down they know what they're doing deep down they know um that talking to you is creating um some sort of like conflict with their current relationship with this person so uh they know that it's going to create some sort of drama and but will they stop no i don't think so because they want to continue to talk with divine feminine here you give them peace you uh, make them feel good and they haven't felt that way in a long time so i see that here i see her um before they felt very cold like 
their routine with this karmic person like day-to-day -day routine it's like things got really boring things felt very cold uh, not much emotion being shared between the two uh, so Maskan hasn't felt like their heart race in a long time but with you uh, they are starting to feel their heart it's like coming back to life that's what I'm seeing here their heart that's like it's like they're feeling love again it's like love for the first time feeling that how it feels to be in love like that feeling is coming back and they're feeling it with you and they don't feel anything like that for the person that they're currently in a relationship with let's see what else is here this looks really unique this reading it's like you're diving into what this masculine is um, experiencing with this karmic person and what they're feeling between the two of you like I see that they're tired of whatever routine that they're in with this karmic person but it's like they don't want to end things any they don't want to end the relationship with the karmic person yet I don't see that thought is coming into their mind it's just like how do I work on this like how do I work with this or um, how do I work things out with this karmic person they're thinking about how to fix it it's like, do I, can I fix this with uh, crazy glue? <laughs> can I fix this crazy situation with crazy glue? <laughs> That's, it's basically that. Like, the mask is trying to find some kind of, like, quick way, quick fixer-upper. Like, how do I fix this relationship before it really falls apart? But there's no way of fixing it. It's, I see it's already crumbling. And the only thing I can see is that what's adding to it What's adding to this situation is the fact that this masculine has reconnected with Divine Feminine. And it wasn't Divine Feminine who reached out. I don't see that here. Divine Feminine, you didn't know, you, you didn't see this coming. Masculine reached out and connected to you first. They, they called you first. They messaged you first. They talked to you first. This is a masculine who just appeared all of a sudden. So they know exactly what they're doing. And yes, they are an adult. They're making those decisions. But it's like they're not strong enough yet to walk away from this karmic connection. I don't see them walking away yet. Why? Because they, don't, they haven't established or they haven't built a strong foundation between you two yet. It's like the beginning. It's like I can't walk away from this karmic person until I've built my foundation with Divine Feminine. It's, they want some sort of like... Um, it looks like some security, like a security blanket kind of thing. It's like I can't just leave this um, karmic person yet. Okay, so this is coming across a little bit selfish here. I'm going to mention it because I, I got this very strongly in this reading. So I'm going to say it because that's what I feel here. What they're doing is this masculine, it's like they're not willing to let go of that relationship until they know they have something with Divine Feminine. It's like... This karmic person will become their backup plan. And this karmic person was a backup plan. So now, when this Divine Masculine has reconnected with Divine Feminine, because they feel this strong connection with Divine Feminine, they want to be with Divine Feminine, but it's like, I can't make a decision to leave this karmic person. I'm not ready to yet. And we're just talking. Divine Feminine and I, we're just talking. It's not a strong enough reason for me to walk away from this karmic relationship. So it is a little bit selfish here because they're like, I, I'm not going to be... I, I'm not going to leave this karmic person until I know I have something with Divine Feminine. It's like, if I don't have anything with Divine Feminine, my plan B is this karmic person. My my backup plan is the karmic. So it's like, they're not mo going to move forward until they know there's something between you two. So, how is this going to play out? There's two things here. I'm going to explain what I see here. So, the, one of them is that this divine masculine what they might do is emotionally they might still be invested in this karmic relationship so, to some point right it's not going to be fully fully emotionally involved in that but they're going to have some feelings there obviously where they will be like maybe i should just stay 
Well, what will happen is there will be emotional. So some cases there's going to be emotional shift where this masculine will be redirected because they would have outgrown that that um, that moment, that situation. It's like the time has passed. It's like time's up, right? So it has to do with also the the divine timing. So if divine masculine continues to delay things because they're like oh i'm scared to move forward with divine feminine if i don't know for sure if i have a relationship with divine feminine how can i let this karmic person go so that fear is causing a lot of delays that selfishness selfishness not knowing whether or not they have a relationship with divine feminine and they and knowing that they have this karmic person like waiting for them that's also causing a lot of delays. So what happens is there's going to be some sort of divine intervention where there will be no choice but for this divine masculine to let the karmic person go emotionally. And it's going to happen in a way that masculine doesn't expect. It's like in a way that they least expect because it's like the divine is saying that if you're not going to make the decision, I'll make it for you. If you're not going to walk away from this karmic person, I'll make it for you. And I see here that it's going to be some sort of realization about who or what this karmic person is and what their relationship really, really means. So this karmic person is going to show zero interest in their relationship. And make it even more difficult for masculine to even stay. So I see here that this karmic person is going to make that situation so intense that they will have no no choice but to just leave. And when this divine masculine leaves, that transformation happens where that release needs to take place. Because keep in mind, this masculine, there's something selfish, some sort of selfish here there's something that they're not letting go of there's some sort of behavior that they that they've been holding on to for some time this behavior that has kept you two apart and that has made him go from one relationship to the next because that it's something having to do with being undecided and having a backup plan like that thought that behavior that fear that needs to be released and i see that transformation only takes place when the divine intervenes and when divine masculine is pushed to push they are pushed to a point where they need to push this karmic away meaning that they cannot no longer be in a relationship with them so I hope I hope that made sense because this there's um there's things having to do with this masculine just like they could have been with divine feminine but because of their fear or this um, stubbornness that they have about like I can't walk away from one until I have the other um, they are not choosing divine feminine based off of like divine feminine is the one in this reading is more of like i'll choose divine feminine when i know that divine feminine is mine and that i can walk away from this karmic person i won't let go of my hand with it's like holding hands with karmic person i won't let go of ha this hand with karmic person until i shake hands with divine feminine but then i won't let go of this karmic person until i know divine feminine has a grip of of my hand so it's like I, until i know divine feminine has given their full support i cannot release this karmic person i cannot let go but this way of thinking this way of doing things this behavior this habit this routine they've done this before and i think they did it vice versa when it comes to karmic and divine feminine they let go of divine feminine in order to be with this karmic person until they knew that karmic person was there until they knew that they had a full-on relationship with this karmic person, that's when they let go of this uh, divine feminine. So now they're doing the same thing again. So basically the divine is like, if you're going to continue with this routine, if that's your plan, that's not going to work. It's like we will not allow, it's showing here, we will not allow you to emotionally, it shows here emotionally in, um There's something about like um, emotionally disturb those involved. 
You cannot emotionally disturb those involved. It's like, cannot play with people's emotions. Either you let go of one and move forward, right? But don't move forward without letting the other one go. It's like, you cannot move on with the relationship without without letting your past go. If Divine Masculine plans to have a relationship with Divine Feminine, not only do they need to be ready for it, they need to let go of what is left behind. And I see here that even the Divine is like, even when you let this karmic relationship go, you need to change, you need to change things within yourself before you are ready to step forward towards Divine Feminine. I see here that they will go into single season. They won't be able, it's like, Divine will protect Divine Feminine in this reading. They will not be able to come near Divine Feminine. Yes, they might talk here and there, but another thing is Divine Feminine will recognize the cycle. It shows here Divine Feminine will be aware of the cycle, whether or not Divine Masculine is ready for the connection or not. It's Divine Feminine's call as well. And intuitively, Divine Feminine will know that this Divine Masculine is not ready yet. Because stepping out of this karmic relationship means some sort of healing and it also means some sort of transformation. They cannot immediately go into a relationship with Divine Feminine with, without dealing with whatever they need to deal with. And these are deep-rooted emotions or feelings of fear of um, having some kind of backup plan, that kind of thing. Uh, it's like they have this fear of like losing everything. If, if I don't, if this relationship doesn't work out, I can't start a new one until I know, until I know this, this, and this. It's like they feel like they need to have all the answers first before they can fully invest in something or someone. It's not only with relationships. I feel like other decision, um, it's their decision-making skills. Other things that they have decided to do in their life, they're not able to do it because... They have all these things that are holding them back. And again, the Divine is not going to allow this Divine Masculine to move forward with Divine Feminine until they have that single season, until they have the time to transform themselves and it starts from within. And it, it does require work. And this is some work that this Masculine was probably avoiding for some, sort, some time now. It's the bitter truth. It's showing here it's the bitter truth that they need to see about themselves that what they're doing, their thoughts, their patterns, it's not, it's not right. It's not fair. Let's see what else is here. I'm just looking through and seeing what else is on this. So, I, I see something about happiness here, so I'm going to go into this. Divine Feminine, um, the new cycle, there's a new cycle here for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you will see that there's going to be some positive changes with Divine Fem with Divine Masculine and you. So between you two, there will be some positive changes. Um, but you will be able to recognize those ch changes. But when this Masculine first approaches you, you don't feel it yet. Like you, you're happy that they returned. You're happy that they're talking to you. But there's something about doubt and questioning, like, what is their reason? Like, what's their motive? Like, why are they back? And it's because this masculine is in that undecided energy. And you already know, like, they may have already told you that they're still in that relationship with this karmic person. They're still not ready yet. They're, they have not left that relationship. So how can you expect them to, you know, just walk out of that? energetically they are still connected to that but i see here that once the divine feminine feels it recognizes it, it's like and this it has to do with free will as well right everyone's situation is different and in this reading i see that this divine feminine will know when this divine masculine has changed for the better and it will take a little bit more time like this masculine cannot be in a karmic relationship and heal from there it's showing that there's going to be a, a little moment where like there's some time there a little moment where they will be in the single season that's where the transformation begins and it, sh it shows here that there's no movement forward until that transformation takes place 
So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.